Hello, hope that this video is finding you in good health and in good spirits. My question for the cards today is I want to see what kind of energy Donald Trump has got swirling around him for the month of June. Now, of course, by the, that point in time, we should have some kind of decision and, uh, you know, fallout from his first criminal trial. Let's see how that goes. Right now, the cards are predicting that he'll be convicted, but, you know, time will tell. The other thing that we've got, in addition to, you know, he's going to have some campaign rallies. He'll be able to get back onto the campaign trail, I imagine, um, because if he's acquitted, he's acquitted, and if he is um, sentenced, it is going to go to appeal, so he'll have time to campaign. And then, of course, the other big thing on his calendar is going to be the presidential debate that he has scheduled with Joe Biden for June the 27th. And at this point in time, I don't see him doing it. Um, the cards have indicated that he will not be debating um, Joe Biden. However, we'll see once again. Already, though, the, the excuses are getting cooked up. Right? He wants Joe Biden to undergo drug testing now. And he, you know, he's going to come up that he, he won't debate him because he hasn't undergone drug testing. I don't know if you can see the eyes rolling from that far away, but oh yeah, they're rolling over here. So anyways, going to do a Celtic cross on this and uh, just see what kind of energy we've got around Donald Trump for the month of June. And we're using my old standby, One World Tarot by Lena Rodriguez and Sienna Rose. And for our signifier, we have the World Card. Now the World Card is, it's kind of the pause between two phases. So you've got something coming to completion, but something else hasn't started yet. It's just that little spot in between and it's about you know you have your accomplishments and what you have done um but it's opening up the possibilities of what is going to be next so yes there's very much going to be this end of one phase start of a new phase uh in the month of june and this has been crossed by the seven of cups in a reverse position. Now, the Seven of Cups, when it is reversed, it's card of illusion and delusion, and it is about being overwhelmed, but also finding clarity, like some home truth has landed that you can't ignore, and it can be overwhelming. Remember, the Cups are the suit about emotions, and so that could be very possibly part of what we're dealing with here that there's an emotional reaction to something that is rather overwhelming. Now, in the past position, we have the Hierophant, but the Hierophant's in a reverse position. Now, the Hierophant card is about, you know, law and tradition and religion and authority and ethics and morality and blah, 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 blah. All of those kind of ideas. In a reverse position, <laughs> It is all those things reversed. And what has Donald Trump done his entire life other than float the law and traditions? I mean, we've seen how the guardrails in American political life was based on norms and, you know, social understandings, but weren't necessarily written into law. And Donald Trump has run roughshod over this. And uh, it's almost been a hallmark of his presidency. Now, in the future, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is a card that is about practice and discipline and craftsmanship. And what is Donald Trump really good at? Well, he's a con man. He's, he's, Trump organization has been shown to be you know, a con job. Trump University was a con job. Everything that he has touched, I mean, 
He's he bankrupted how many casinos? He's not a businessman. He's a con man. And he's been getting away from it for years. And he is extremely skilled at this. He has a mastery of the con. And, you know, he's an old man. He isn't going to give this up at this particular point in time. Nor can he afford to give it up. In the sky of the reading, you know, the overarching energy, if you will, we have the strength card, but the strength card is reversed. Strength card <laughs> reversed is about self-doubt and cowardice. Now, Donald Trump is, and let me practice psychiatry without a license, is an obvious classic case of somebody who is suffering from narcissistic personality disorder. Like the man is a full blown malignant narcissist. And any narcissist, if you scratch the surface, you will find an incredibly insecure person, right? That self doubt is defining feature for him. And once the accolades and the you know, syncophants and the worshiping and all of that starts fading away, he is going to crumble along with it because he doesn't have any internal strength. It is all of this, you know, huff and puff and flash. Foundation of the reading. This is not good news for Donald Trump. The foundation of the reading is justice. And the justice card, of course, is about justice and truth and consequences and accountability and fairness and all the things that he has been trying to avoid all his life and that is the bedrock foundation of this reading that's what kind of energy he is going to be meeting in the month of june you know there's a lot of crows out there that are coming home to roost message from spirit oh <laughs> the gigs up right justice judgment the judgment card and the judgment card is about that it's about your purpose and it's about coming to an awakening as to what your purpose in life is really now this is a man that's approaching the end of his life he's certainly in the final quarter of it and he has lived a life of excess and indulgence if you will but there is we all answer for what we've done right and judgment is coming now whether this is spiritual judgment divine judgment or if it's going to be the judgment of the american voters or you know peer groups this remains to be seen but message from spirit is Judgment is coming. In the environment, we have the Ten of Wands in a reverse position. Ten of Wands, when it's reversed, is about burnout and breakdown. So we're seeing a lot of things come up with the trial. A lot of people who who worked for him or were Republicans, Republican operators like Hope Hicks and that sort of stuff are coming out in the facade of the solid team support around Trump is crumbling. So we're seeing that aides and former cabinet ministers and, and people that have worked within the Trump organization are coming out and saying, you know, one after another, the man is not responsible. The man, he's not the person that he was in 2016 or in 2020. So we have the issue of the cognitive decline and that loyalty towards him as a person is starting to crack, right? So we're getting a breakdown in the environment of Trump and Trumpism and Trumpology. <laughs> now, hopes and fears. You have the page of wands. Now, all pages are messengers and spirit. We'll pull this message at the end. But the page of wands is like a useful 
inspired kind of energy. It's got a great deal of vitality that comes with it. And it's looking at the new potential for things and generating new ideas. And so there is this, you know, continuing hope within the uh, Trump camp that, you know, they're going to be able to crack the code. They're going to be able to find something. Maybe those debates will be the boost that they need to break out of this kind of one-on-one -on -one, neck and neck polling issue that they have. So they're really kind of hanging on to the idea that this young energy is going to invigorate uh, the situation that they're in. And in the final outcome, we again have another page. This time it's the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is about truth communication and it's it's can't be stopped right it has an enthusiasm the page of swords is a very curious creature you know it's like what's going on here what's what's happening here let's let's get to the bottom of this that is page of swords energy all over the place and again we will pull this page's message at the end of the reading, which is pretty much now. So we had a page of the page of wands was in the hopes and fears category. And we are pulling the six of cups. It's in a reverse position. Six of cups when it's reversed, one of the hopes and fears that we're dealing with. This is inner child. And he is very much. I can't help it when I go into the energy surrounding Donald Trump. It is this wounded child, and again, back with the narcissist, right, is this just shrieking, terrified, vulnerable, frightened child in it. And, you know, one of the things that he's got to be afraid of is his past, that denying of all the things that the Hierophant represents. That he has got a lot to fear. And that's what the Page of Wands is bringing out. And then finally, the Page of Swords, which was in the final outcome position. Page's message is the Devil card in a reverse position. The Devil card, when it's reversed, is about freedom and independence. It's about personal power and detaching yourself from the rules and regulations and the norms. Well, this is, you know, who Donald Trump is. Donald Trump isn't going to change his spots. He is who he is. He is always going to be a liar. He's always going to be a grifter. He's always going to be a con. I mean, the man turned 78 years old in the month of June, June the 14th, I believe, right? Um, this is who he is, and it's not going to, to switch around. Um, so it continues, it's going to continue to track. There is no, you know, conversion on the road to Damascus for Donald Trump. And shadow card in this reading is the King of Swords. King of Swords is intellect, uh, very logical, very logical uh, thinker, Somebody who is very attached to the truth, very much like the idea that the Page of Swords had. Um, you know, very, very competent, very good at communicating, extremely fair, uncompromising. Uh, takes action without emotion and has a great deal of power that's not necessarily the first thing that you think of when you see him. And I am getting a sudden pull to Jack Smith, the uh, federal prosecutor, special special counsel. Um, I think Jack Smith has got a move that is going to take place in the month of June. And, I mean, times will tell. But I think that, you know, the whole ideas that are coming around with the past and that he is going to have to deal with it and that, you know, his hopes and fears that that he's going to have to deal with issues of the past from the point of view of this wounded inner child. Yeah, I think there's something there. It just kind of feels really solid right now. So 
that's my reading for, I guess, the month of June for Donald Trump. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.